Hello and welcome back to the Design Files Small Business Summer School powered by Squarespace. If you watched our last video, by now you will have set some small business goals, done your money mapping and planned out your first 12 months in business. What you need now is some great photographs to populate your website and your social media channels and bring your brand to life. Today we're walking you through six top tips for styling and photography with stylist Heather Nettie King. One, mood board. Before you start your shoot, collect reference images to create a mood board on how you want your photos to look and feel. These can reference anything from colour, composition, even photographic style. This is the fun bit. Two, make a shot list. Shoot days can be really overwhelming, so it's important that you've got a clear and concise shot list to tick off as you go. The shots you'll need will be determined by the layout of your website. How many vertical shots, how many horizontal, how many simple individual product shots and how many styled shots. Try drawing a storyboard to plan each shot with what product will be included. Three, set the scene. Carefully plan the location or surfaces for your shoot. For small products, you'll need to source a background and a flat surface. For a larger product, such as furniture, you'll need to source a suitable location that looks a little like the references in your mood board. The more time you spend finding a great location, the easier your shoot day will be. Four, hero your product. This sounds obvious, but it's surprisingly easy to get carried away with styling ideas. The most important thing to remember when styling is that the product you're selling is the hero. It should be the star of every single shot. So keep things simple and don't obscure the product with over the top styling. Five, vary your heights. It's a good thing to remember to vary up heights of objects in your photographs to create different focal points. For small objects, consider using little plinths or risers to sit your products on. Study the styling in photographs you like and you'll start to see little stacks everywhere. Six, side light. I always recommend investing in a professional photographer if you can. However, if a DIY approach is your only option, the best results are achieved using side light, natural light coming in from the side of your shot. Set your products up on a surface right next to a window and let the sunlight stream in from one side. It's not fail safe, but it's a great start.